2022 was a pretty incredible year. It was my first full year living here in Alpine at an air park in Wyoming. Just doing some incredible flying out here. Everything's just it hits a little bit differently when you're doing it in the mountains, next to the mountains, in between the mountains, in the valleys. We did some pretty Wyoming things since I've been out here too. Everything from rescuing some sheep that we found stuck in the mud while buzzing low along the river in the Husky. Real slow. Real slow. So I was tasked with uh, walking the shoreline to find additional sheep. Apparently I missed one, but there is a third sheep. <laughs> you get a sheep. You get a sheep. I get three sheep. You get three sheep. Oh, no. <laughs> Before we got our own fighter jet, we got to go fly a Lear 31A in formation with some F5s for the 4th of July. And of course, this July we spent nine days getting our own fighter jet put together. Came in a shipping container from Estonia to Alabama. Got it put together. Now, compared to some earlier airplanes like the MiG, uh, this airplane really has a lot of redundancy, a lot of cool systems. Uh, almost everything except for the flight control surfaces themselves are hydraulic. And there's backup hydraulics, backup, you know, nitrogen, oxygen bottles in the seats. Just sort of a lot of redundancy throughout. A lot of automation for the engine, starting the engine, starting the APU, uh, those types of things. This airplane just has a lot of really interesting systems. Like it's, uh, it was kind of, you know, at the forefront of its time. And so uh, there's all sorts of neat things. One of the things I think is just cool is like the oxygen bottles for the ejection seats are just these flat little like, seat pans. And so there's just a whole bunch of little tiny oxygen like cartridges in series throughout this pan. And so this, this little flat you know, pancake thing uh, is actually the oxygen bottle so that you have oxygen uh, when you leave the airplane. 50. Okay. That's what they're supposed you to You have to service them with a special tool here. You can do them by pulling this handle in the cockpit. Okay. Or if you eject, they automatically oh, it just pulls that. Pull this pin and uh, releases. And so this goes into the little bundle on the side. Yeah, they call it a seat manifold. We learned a ton though from Charlie, our test pilot, about all the things that we didn't learn when we got our type rating. Spent some extensive time with our test pilot Charlie, kind of learning all the things that we hadn't learned when we got the type rating, and just some invaluable knowledge there. Speed brakes out, throttles back, and flaps are full, and I've touched down. Once I've touched down, if you can hold the nose where it is, that's cool. If it touches, it comes down and touches, it's not a problem. But don't let it slam down if you can have it. Here we talked about letting you squeeze that bad You can get your hands a little bit dirty, but and you should hear it. It's a gig. Just a chance to look underneath. You know, if I were to. If somebody was working on something recently, I always try to double check what they just did, especially if they're working on something like, say, the speed brakes. Did they get the panels on? Are they on flush? Are they on properly? Um, and it's a good chance to look underneath the aircraft. Next, air conditioning inlet's clear. There's nothing in it. Uh, same with the uh, rear inlet up to the top. So you want it between four and a half and seven and a half? Yeah. Okay. Flew it to Oshkosh. That really just changes the game. Oshkosh is always the best event of the year but doing it in the jet and getting to fly in formation with other people in their jets and similar warbirds uh, was just a ton of fun. And of course since then we've flown this thing about 100 hours, so we've got a lot of time in the jet. We really learned a lot, as you can see.
all kinds of incredible adventures. But the cool thing this year is you guys can come out and be part of some of those adventures too. It's just incredible doing that out here. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun to go fly that airplane really anywhere, but it, it's really just different, you know, going around buzzing at 400 knots around the Grand Tetons or doing some aileron rolls in between some mountains. It's, it's just an incredible experience. All right, switches are on, aircon's on, strobe's coming on, uh, flaps are set, Air pressurization set, switches are on, triple gauge is good, fuel's good, dumps are good, Alpine five check is alive, good bolts and amps are good. Yeah, man, good you're going to want to pull into that pitch up and start blending the, the roll into the pole. And then kind of float it over the top just a little bit, just like a, a loop, but keep the, uh, keep the roll going at the same rate. And then as it starts to come back through the horizon, then uh, pick up that pull again to kind of bring us back towards the original heading. Where, where are you looking as you do this, by the way? Out of the indicator, mostly. Yeah, so just look outside. You're really just kind of pulling those up higher for an aileron roll. You guys can come out and do this too. You know, I've flown in and out of Alpine now hundreds of times in a number of airplanes, but there's just something really incredible about jumping in the L-39 and taking to the skies and uh, you know, taking off and landing in just such an amazing landscape. So I'm excited to share everything we've learned about this airplane. Uh, and those types of experiences when you guys can come on out and you can do flight instruction in any airplane you want um, you can come out and pretty soon you'll be able to fly the L-39 too it's just an incredible experience and you guys can come learn to fly it out here in beautiful Wyoming, Idaho really anywhere you want there's a, there's a lot of options out here a lot of great training opportunities Just keep your back, keep your back. Yep. One, two, three. Stand by, stand by. Yep. Oh. Matt has Close. a video of the most Wyoming thing that just happened today. Jordan <laughs> going out the back of the sheets. <laughs> <laughs>